So this is my video review of the Creality Ender 3, uh, Ender 5, Ender 3 Pro, a lot of the CR series uh, enclosure here. So we'll unzip this here. I like that it has this really large front zipper to get to the inside of your printer or the inside of the enclosure to gain access to your printer. Uh, let's see, the top door actually unzips all the way to each back corner so that you can actually lift this entire piece up if you ever needed to for any reason. There's also an access panel right here on top. But there's actually a bit of Velcro right here. So you can actually undo this, roll it back, and stick the Velcro back to itself to hold it open if you so choose to. It's got an access panel over here with Velcro, same situation. You have a Velcro panel here so you can open it up, unroll it, Velcro it to here. It's got this little tool pouch right here. I do have my wires for my printer and my Raspberry Pi running in right down here. I'll show you from the inside where they're running in. They're actually running in from this back corner. And the reason why is for some reason the port to install your wires is here on the front left. I would much rather see that on the back side of the printer. Uh, not quite sure why it's here instead of on the back, but it kind of is what it is. I was able to remedy it by, uh, like I said, running in my wires in the back. You've got plenty of room to work inside. This uh, liner not only reflects heat uh, to keep heat inside, it's also a fire barrier, so in case your printer was to fail for thermal runaway, which I did check mine uh, with a blow dryer, my printer does have thermal runaway protection on it, but forbid anything was to happen, this is at least another barrier of safety you would have if you would have an issue. Um, this print has been running for probably about 30 minutes. Uh, my PSU temperature feels about the same as it does when, you know, it's been outside. Uh, I haven't noticed any changes with it, with my Raspberry Pi, my camera, the display in here. I will be keeping an eye on that. I would think that you would only ever have huge issues if you were running ABS at a high temperature for a really long print. You know, if you've got the bed at 110 degrees Celsius and the print head at 100 or 230 plus Celsius, I can see that in a, you know, a 24 hour print, you might have a heat issue. I print a lot of PLA, so I don't think that I'm gonna move my PSU or my Raspberry Pi out of the enclosure as of yet. Uh, that might change. But I'll tell you what, I'm pretty impressed with this, uh, with how everything went together. With the, you more or less assemble the frame. And there's these little connectors. And then your poles are all numbered. You can see a number two here. Uh, the back poles were the number three poles. The front poles, skinnier poles, were the number one poles. So it's easy to get together. It'd take two people to get the frame. Uh, on the inside of the fabric, but I'm extremely impressed with this uh, for the money. So thanks, and I hope this video helps you out.